Okay, so today we have the Stranglers and Peaches. So uh, I always love to come back to the Stranglers. Uh, they've left an impression on me. Uh, and, you know, they're always requested. And so, um, yeah, like I said, I'm happy to get back to them. So, yeah, today Peaches, uh, I, from what I've seen, uh, this song, I guess, was controversial. Uh, the lyrics are a little uh, were controversial for the time. So I'm ready to get into it. Let's go and talk about it after. Think of a lot worse places to be Like down in the street Or down in the sewer Or even on the end of a skewer So the Stranglers and Peaches, that was amazing. I mean, I have to say at the top, um, I, I don't know, you know, I've listened to a few stranger, Strangers, Stranglers songs by now, um, but this one I, it might be my favorite. I mean, it's hard to say, but um, this, <laughs> it had everything going for it. I mean, I, you know, the guitar, the bass, the keys, 
the drums. Uh, my dog's looking at me because she's like, who are you talking to? Um, but uh, yeah, <laughs> but it had everything going. I mean, I, like right off the top, you know, uh, Jean-Jacques Burnell uh, on the bass, uh, how he starts off. And it's just like, holy Jesus. And then the bass line throughout the song is just filthy. I mean, if you want to talk about, you know, filthy lyrics or whatever, uh, let's talk about the filthy bass first. Um, I mean, holy crap. And uh, and then, you know, Hugh Cornwell's voice. He has that thick, uh, I mean, the thick accent, of course, but he has like a rough voice, I think I've said before. But um, it's just like, and it just obviously fits so well for this type of song here. And, uh, you know, <laughs> I just love his, you know, he says in there, you know, if you know what I mean, you know, the, you know, the whole, I uh, know what I mean. I mean, I know, uh, I think of like, you know, Liam Gallagher or something, you know, or whatever. A lot of, you know, I know British musicians say, you know what I mean a lot, or just British people. Um, but anyway, from what I've seen. And uh, so I just like that part. And then, you know, uh, just even talking, you know, what comes to mind here uh, when he was singing, uh, well, of course, the organ was great, too, because I just see it here again. Uh, but when he's saying, you know, down on the beaches, just look at all the peaches and then down on the beaches, just look at all the firm bodies. And he's like, how fast he's saying this is just like, I don't it just everything in the song. It was just, <laughs> just like so energetic. So, uh, you know, it kind of I mean, it's kind of a funny song as well. Uh, you know, maybe sarcasm in there as well. And I love how. You know, Hugh's not the only one singing, um, just like it says here for the lyrics from Genius. Uh, it says, you know, when it's verse two and the chorus, it says, well, for verse two, it says Hugh Cornwell and all. But for the chorus, it says all, I guess, all of the ba all of the band singing or whatever. Um, but yeah, I just like how, you know, the backing vocalists in there as well. Uh, well, the band, you know, doing backing vocals, uh, just how it all came together. I mean, I, <laughs> I don't even know how to, you know, talk right now. It's just like, this was just like, yeah, and he, like every, each member, you know, also, you know, Dave Greenfield, when he came in on the keys and, you know, he was doing his part. And of course he was on the organ as well. It's just like, it's, just, it's almost, it's it almost reminds me of like, you know, it's a song, like a baseball game or, you know, kind of the melody, uh, you know, just with the organ, I guess. Uh, but also there's that reggae influence in it. Uh, you know, I know that uh, the Stranglers have been, you know, called punk and also new wave. Uh, you know, here, you know, the reggae kind of punk, whatever. And uh, it's just like, you know, this, and I think this was before the police as well. You know, it's just like, you know, just good Lord. It's just, <laughs> uh, I can't, I, I'm just blown away. And uh, Jet Black on the drums. I love, you know, how at the start, uh, how it's just like, you know, that, I think it was the bass at the start, if I can remember, or maybe the guitar or whatever. Uh, but then how Jet kind of just like had a sporadic drumming for a second. It's just like, oh, there's Jet. And then, you know, and then we go into it. But uh, yeah, I mean, just right off the bat, I'm just, I am blown away. And, uh, you know, kind of, you know, the lyrics as well. <laughs> I mean, Hugh and maybe all the band, they sounded a little bit horny. And uh, I mean, I'm here for it, I guess. But uh, yeah, just I had to say off the, off the top. Great song. And like I said, uh, one of my favorite songs I've heard from the Stranglers. And uh, yeah, holy crap. Um, so anyway, <laughs> like you usually do, you know, delve into some of the stuff about the song. Uh, so Peaches, you know, there isn't about on Genius. I mean, it's just a short one. It just says a song about admiring attractive young women on a beach in their bathing suits. I mean, and you, you know, with the title Peaches, I mean... Nowadays, you know, a peach, you know, you talk about you know, a butt or whatever, I guess. And, uh, you know, talking about, you know, women, I guess, like it said here. I mean, yeah, it's just, <laughs> I mean, right off the bat, he was kind of, you know, letting you know what is going on. Uh, you know, how he just starts off strolling along, minding my own business, where there goes a girl and a half. <laughs> She's got me going up and down. She's got me going up and down. And I, there are some annotations here. And for this one, it's just, you know, it says he's sitting on the beach. While a good-looking woman walks by, his eyes are wandering up and down as he gazes at her body. But when he says, um, you know, go, has to be going up and down, I was thinking of him doing something else up and down. But, uh, yeah, that might be a little too X-rated. But anyway, um, uh, going on, then we have the chorus, you know, walking on the beaches, looking at the peaches. I just love the, uh, I guess, yeah, the melody. I just love everything about the song. It's just so catchy as well. Uh, <laughs> it's just, and especially, you know, catchy for, you know, the lyrics here. I can imagine, you know, like a kid listening to this, especially back in the 70s and being like, what is, you know, what's a clitoris? Anyway, um, and then the second verse here. <laughs> well, I got the notion, girl, that you got some suntan lotion in that bottle of yours. Spread it all over my peeling skin, baby. That feels real good. 
all this skirt lapping up the sun, lap me up, why don't you come and lap me up? And again, Hugh, just his voice is so perfect for a song like this. Uh, and then you go on with the third verse, and then there's the fourth verse as well. But, um, you know, just talking about the women again, you know, and then like how he says, you know, I'd better go take a swim and see if I can cool down a little bit. Because, yeah, he's he seems like he's getting a little hot and heavy here. Uh, we got, And then it goes on, you know, because you, you and me, woman, we got a lot of things on our minds. And then he says, you know what I mean? I just love how he added that in there. And then the final and fourth verse, um, will you just take a look over there? And then I like how the band, you know, where, there, and it's just, you know, in the headphones as well. Uh, it's just like, it's such a different experience. Uh, is she trying to get out of that? And then, you know, this is where I clit tares. That's how I get, you know, he says a little differently. Uh, but hold the phone. And again, I do see here another annotation on Genius uh, talking about this line, you know, with the clitoris or whatever, uh, and it's spelled differently, I think, than, you know, the word uh, that I'm thinking of. But it says practically every reference to this lyrical line elsewhere states that the word present is uh, clitoris. It's spelled differently, so I don't know how you pronounce it, but which is supposed to be a French word for a bathing costume. However, there doesn't appear to be any French dictionaries that actually feature such a word. So, and it goes on, you know, furthermore, every discussion of the word itself seems to be in reference to it as part of the song. Uh, and it goes on, finally, even with the incorrect accent point, it still sounds as great, uh, sounds a great deal more like the specific point of a woman's anatomy than anything else. And that's what I'm saying, yeah. Uh, this would leave the sentence in, incomprehensible, but it would certainly fit the tenor of the song in its entirety. So yeah, I mean, the song, you know, it fits what's going on. And then I love how he says, you know, liberation for women, that's what I preach, preacher man. And it's just like, I mean, yeah, like I said, the band is horny all over. Um, and then the bridge comes in, you know, Oh shit, there goes the, oh goodness, the Sharabonk, Sharabonk, I want to say, uh, and it says, this is, uh, pronounced, yeah, Sharabang, Sharabang, okay, I guess, uh, was originally a horse-drawn and then motorized, uh, conveyance for multiple people, uh, popular for outings to the beach, so, you know, a vehicle, um, looks like I'm going to be stuck here the whole summer. Well, that's a bummer. Uh, I can think of a lot of worse places to be, uh, like down in the streets or down in the sewer. And uh, when he says down in the sewer, like this annotation says here, this might be referenced to their, uh, the later song on this album, Down in the Sewer. Uh, the song itself is made up of four parts, falling down the sewer, trying to get out again, rats rally. Uh, or even in the skewer, at the end of the skewer and then you know in the Oregon breakdown and then like I said I love when he goes in and he says you know down on the beaches look at all the sunglasses look at all the peaches just look at all the peaches just look at all the peaches and then the outro with the ums and uh yeah just the you know the especially with the uh like I said the end in there uh he was you know fast-paced uh friggin delivery uh and yeah just the baseline throughout I mean I did see here, I was reading up on uh, Jean-Jacques Burnell, because I was trying to remember how you say his name, and uh, so I listened to him say it in an interview, and uh, he is a Franco-Englishman, and uh, so yeah, it is like, I guess, you know, Burnell or whatever. Uh, I did take a lot of French in school, so I'm trying to say it right, but, um, and yeah, I see that when he grew up, uh, he was kind of, like, well, kind of, but he was bullied because he was French. And uh, so he actually started to go by John instead of, you know, Jean-Jacques. or And then he also went by JJ. Um, but just, and also how it says that, you know, in a lot of his music and, you know, his presence on stage, uh, because he was bullied, he took a lot of, I guess, you know, uh, and I'm, what's the, <laughs> he took a lot of stress or whatever out on stage and on the bass. And that's what, you know, came from his uh, ferocious playing style. And um, I mean, it makes sense. I mean, like I said, the bass line here, it's just gorgeous. Well, filthy. I mean, gorgeous, filthy, freaking sick. It's everything. And uh, yeah, I just love that a lot. But like I said, Dave Greenfield on the freaking keys, like I said during the song, tingling the keys is just like, <sighs> there's not just one part on the song, but you know, that's beautiful uh, or great, whatever. Because uh, again, Hugh Cornwell's vocals are nuts and the Jet Black and the drums. And also looking at, I was <laughs> looking at uh, Jet Black here. I didn't realize that he's 83 now, how much older he is than the rest of the band. I was just like, he's 83? Like, you know, you look at Hugh Cornwell, he's 72, which is still old, but 11 years younger than Jet. I was just like, geez, I didn't know he was that old. Um, it's like a friggin' uh, Mick Mars situation from Motley Crue or something. But anyway, I mean, I guess that's all I really <laughs> have to say. I mean, just a stellar bass. Uh, the groove is nuts. It's an intense friggin' track. Uh, and Hugh Cornwell's voice, like I said, is just perfect for it. And, uh, <laughs> just, you know, again, it's just like, you know, kind of makes me laugh just with the lyricism. I just love how they're kind of having fun. 
And uh, again, it's kind of that reggae influence, but it's, you know, the Stranglers kind of reggae, which is great. And uh, yeah, so really enjoyed the tune. So anyway, I guess, like I said, that's all I got to say now. Uh, definitely this would be uh, going in my playlist. So um, yeah, anyway, thanks again for watching. Thanks for the requests for this band again. I always love coming back to them. Uh, yeah, thanks for commenting and liking and all that stuff. Really appreciate all of the support. And I will talk to you guys and girls and whoever again soon.